Hello, how's it going? Can I answer some questions here? I got a question. Here's a question. Do I have any hidden talents? I do. I have many hidden talents. I love learning stuff. I love learning just random stuff, like learning how to juggle, solving a Rubik's Cube, like little coin flipping thing through your hand, pen spinning, that was a thing for a, for a second. Something that's not so hidden, I am a magician, a professional magician. Uh, I work at a place called the Magic Castle here in LA. It's pretty famous and it's awesome working there. Yeah, I love it. I know a lot of, a lot of dumb little stuff. Wait, actually, I think I have a pen on me. This is the only thing I can do. I can just, whoop. I can just spin a pen over my thumb. I do this all the time. I'll just be sitting, reading something. Stupid, stupid. Not a, not a really impressive talent, but I can do it. Have I ever seriously considered quitting social media? I think that that thought has occurred to me uh, at least once every week. I go, man, this sucks. <laughs> I don't wanna do this. Um, I will say, I, hey, let me, let me be fair here. Social media can be great. It is a very powerful tool and a lot of people use it irresponsibly. Uh, I don't like social media. That's my opinion on it. I really don't, at least for myself. It, it can be very draining. And uh, I have to be on social media. It's a, uh, I'm an actor and if you don't have something like that, then it's very hard to find you. Not good for business, but I don't use it necessarily as a content creation tool. I wish I did. And I probably will start here relatively soon. I used to when I was on the show, uh, but man, I just fell off, just fell off the planet. Did not, fell off the face of the earth for the most part. If you follow me on social media. What advice would I have for someone who wants to be a social media creator? Aha, I was just talking about this. Uh, you know what? One thing that I see social media creators doing a lot is not being truthful with stuff about themselves. Uh, a lot of it feels very false, very fake. It's a big breath of fresh air when you see someone just being honest. It's awesome instead of not having uh, all this stuff that they're doing and trying to be and, I don't know, try to be cool, maybe. Yeah, not, not cool for me. Yeah. A lot of people say be yourself, but that can be confusing. Just be truthful with what you say, and what you do. Mm -hmm. What are my favorite movies of all time? I have, a ridiculous amount of movies that I love. However, there is one that stands out. Inception by Christopher Nolan. You've probably seen it, it's legendary. It's my favorite movie. Like, here's Inception, here's like every other movie that I've ever seen ever, including my favorite ones. It just, it's way above it. Favorite movie. What is your favorite birthday memory? Let me tell you something cool about birthdays and my life. My mother was a party planner and she planned the coolest freaking birthdays from one to 10 years old. Uh, I don't remember stuff before five really, but uh, even past 10, I've had awesome birthdays, all themed birthdays. And she's really good at the production quality. Like all of those, all of those birthdays, Disney would have been so proud by how high quality they were. So props to you, mother, for giving me amazing birthdays. Like, I'll give you an example. Like, I had a pirate-themed birthday, I had a Jaws-themed birthday, Indiana Jones-themed birthday, a Hollywood birthday, a Harry Potter-themed birthday, a Great Gatsby birthday. That was the last themed birthday I did. I was 16, it was awesome. Gosh, so many. So it's hard to choose, but all of them are really cool. What would be the one superpower you would choose to have? A lot of people are gonna go, oh, I wish I had time control. I wish I could control time. That's one, that's like the most common answer. <laughs> Boring. I wanna be something cool. I wanna be a shapeshifter. Sh <laughs> Shift into anything. How cool, how cool is that? <laughs> oh gosh, that'd be, even just thinking about it for a second, the amount of pranks you can pull with that. Oh no. <laughs> Anyways. 
That'd be fun. Shapeshifter. What's your goal for where you'll be three years from today? I don't know the exact date today, unfortunately. But three years from today, that's a, I'll tell you first thing I want to have. I either want to be on a project or I've just started a project that I love. Like a feature film, dramatic feature film. I've been on a sitcom for a long time. I want to expand out, you know? Expand out my horizon. Uh, perhaps for a dramatic TV show. Oh my gosh, if something like Breaking Bad was around, get me on it. I want to be on a legendary show. Uh, do I think three years from today? Matt, perhaps. Uh, I also am going to be uh, 21. Um, I will be working as a uh, nighttime performer at the Magic Castle, because I'll be 21. And you have to be 21 to do that. So I'll definitely be doing that in three years. Uh, per perhaps I'll be uh, living in Georgia. I like Georgia a lot. And as for, you know, big aspirations, man, I'm just getting started. I don't know where I'll be three years. I hope good places, but hopefully that th those are just some things I have on the list. But you never know with this stuff. I could be gone tomorrow. I could have a, I could, I could book a movie today. And they're like, we need you, we need you here tomorrow at 6 a.m. Such a crazy thing. It's hard for me to be like, oh, I want to be here in three years because I don't know if I'll be there tomorrow. That'd be cool. But yeah, I'm working on stuff. Stuff that's a little hard to explain here, but you watch out. Do you see social media as your long-term career path? If not, what could you see yourself doing? I believe I've answered the first half of this. I do not see social media as my long-term career path nor have I ever. In fact, I believe social media has gotten in the way more times than it's actually helped me. But I will say, I wish I was using it more as a content creation tool. I'm sorry, I don't like the word content. I wanna be able to actually be on there, me as myself, not just spewing out content. Uh, so you know what? I actually wanna get more into it and I want it to be a more integral part of my relationship, not just with art, but with my business and my life. Because at times it's interesting and I like put myself out there from time to time. So yeah, if not, what could you see yourself doing? Well, I'm an actor, I like creating art, I like producing things, I would like my career path to be an actor for the rest of my life. I love it. I'm in love with it. Be doing it till the day I die. If you could travel anywhere, where would you choose? Mars. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. A different planet. It said anywhere. Any pla any place in the galaxy, dude. Put me on. Put me on a planet that's like Earth but not like a like distant galaxy, far away. I'll survive there. Hey, that'd be awesome. Make a space trip. Or maybe Mars, one of the two. What is your favorite holiday? Aha! In addition to my mother being a party planner, she also planned the coolest holiday parties and get togethers and decorating the house was, uh, was a big thing for her. So I always loved Halloween because not only is my mother a party planner, but she also made a bunch of costumes and we all, had uh, uh, family costumes. We would go to Mickey's Not So Scary, because I lived in Orlando. Uh, that, that's a Halloween event that Disney puts on. You go there, you dress up, and we had themed costumes all together. Coolest, coolest, coolest. And I also love scary stuff. I was a, I was a scare actor at the LA Haunted Hayride uh, last year. Super cool. I'm gonna go back again, definitely. So, Halloween, and then Christmas. Nope, sorry, Halloween. Yeah, Halloween, Christmas. And then, this is, it's not really a holiday, but my favorite season is spring. So, whatever. Which one of your accomplishments are you proudest of? Thanks for the question. It's a good question. I have a lot of accomplishments that I am proud of. Uh, three off the top of my head. Booking Fuller House. That changed my entire life. Hello. Awesome. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud that I put in the work and a lot of luck was involved. 
and right timing and, and all that, but still very proud of it. The Magic Castle. Being a magician at the Magic Castle, amazing. Absolutely the coolest thing ever. Third, completing the first year of my Meisner training program. Very intense, and I loved every second of it. That's just a personal thing I got going on. But I have, I have done a lot. I'm very proud of even the small things that I, that I do to progress my, my career. And things that would be way too hard to explain here, but those are just three. Those are just three for you. Who are your role models? Who are my role models? That's a great question. I have a list of actors that I love. I'd say my uh, my top three role models, John Krasinski from The Office season, amazing. Keanu Reeves and Anthony Hopkins. I wish I was all three of those people all at once. You're so cool. Brings a tear to my eye. That's all I got. That's all the questions I have for you today. My name is Michael Campion. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate your time. And I'll see you around. Bye-bye now.